Harley Davidson announces two additional 2016 models. In a year that sees Harley Davidson list a total of 38 motorcycle models, the motor company has decided to add two more muscular choices to the list. The 2016 Lowrider S enters the fray as the most powerful non quo Dyna cruiser ever offered by Harley Davidson. Similarly, the exclusive Quo line gets a new stylishly aggressive, or is that aggressively stylish, member in the form of the 2016 Quo Pro Street Breakout, delivering drag bike performance to discriminating Harley customers. Mixing blacked out styling with an ear face V-twin performance, the Lowrider S joins the Fat Boy S and Soft Tail Slim S models. The heart and soul of these bikes is the Screamin' Eagle Twin Cam 110 engine which is the largest displacement factory installed engine Harley Davidson produces. Feeding those air-cooled cylinders are a Screamin' Eagle heavy breather performance intake and Fat Bob style 2 into 2 exhaust. Sound beefy? How does 115 pounds foot of peak torque at 3,500 RPM strike you? To tame the 13% torque increase over the standard low rider, a heavy-duty clutch delivers the power to the cruise drive 6-speed transmission. Just because the engine has more grunt doesn't mean it can't be civilized, too. So, cruise control is a standard feature. Harley-Davidson 2016 models announced via Worldwide Livestream event. The Lowrider S delivers creature comforts and handling via premium ride nitrogen gas charged emulsion shocks and a premium ride cartridge fork. Dual floating front discs and a solo rear get the ABS treatment for optimal speed attenuation. The flat drag bar features 5.5 inches risers positioning the rider's paws in an aggressive forward stance while the mid-mount controls put the pegs in a comfortable position. The 26.6 inches solo seat features a shape to help the rider combat the accelerative forces. Stylistically, the low rider S looks to the performance machinery of the 1960s and 1970s. From the gold tank badge that harkens the 1977 XLCR Cafe Racer model to the magnum gold lightweight cast aluminum wheels that are reminiscent of the gold tone magnesium wheels on single quote 60s race machines. This S makes a strong statement. The multiple black color treatments, glossy on the bodywork, semi-gloss on the exhaust, crinkle on the engine, define a subtle color palette to increase the low rider S single quote menace, while a bikini fairing gives a sporting profile. Still, according to Harley Davidson senior stylist Dais Nago, it's not all for appearance. When you ride fast in this upright position, you need a little wind protection. Then the way we inset the headlamp deeper into the speed screen gives the low rider S an aggressive face. It's a powerful way to communicate the personality of the motorcycle. The low rider S MSRP is $16,699. From the nothing exceeds like excess department, the Quo Pro Street Breakout continues the Quo tradition of mounting a hooded up engine and then outfitting the beast with top of the line accessories highlighting an exclusive paint scheme. The Quo Pro Street Breakout features a Screamin' Eagle Twin Cam 110B for the most power available from a Harley Davidson production air cooled engine. Additionally, since Harley often debuts new custom features and manufacturing techniques on the Quo models prior to allowing them to trickle down to other machinery, the Quo Pro Street Breakout displays some new finished treatments. The Pro Street Breakout represents a new dimension of Quo motorcycles, said Harley Davidson styling director Brad Richards. The Pro Street Breakout takes its cues from the streets and reflects our own changing tastes. It still delivers the depth of detail and value and the bragging rights the Quo customer expects, but gets there in a different way. Its colors may be subdued but also of incredible depth. We're developing alternate finishes to bright chrome, brushed and anodized surfaces and tinted clear coat, for example. The breakout really lends itself to this new styling direction. The Pro Street breakout uses smoke satin chrome as a prime example. We worked intensely with our plating suppliers to develop the hue and depth of smoke satin chrome, 
and we are the first to use it in the motorcycle industry, said Nagal. It's a finish that looks really contemporary and exclusive, but also kind of sinister. We've carefully placed smoke satin chrome next to a black surface, so it creates a layered effect. For example, the top rocker cover is gloss black, and the lower cover is smoke satin chrome. It's on the exhaust header shields next to the black engine and black mufflers. We used smoke satin chrome on the oil lines and fittings to add an unexpected detail. The aggressor custom wheels feature an additional new finish called scorched chrome. The drag racer inspired styling gives the impression that the chrome isn't the only thing that the Kvo Pro Street Breakout will scorch. The details are all there, 1.25 inch drag style handlebar, the slippery speed screen, and the color matched chin spoiler. The bucket seat with the sizable bolstered pillion assists the rider in staying in the cockpit once the trigger is pulled. Despite the exclusive good looks, Kvos have always been about the ultimate in factory performance. The Kvo Pro Street Breakout uses black blunt cut mufflers and an open element Scream and Eagle heavy breather elite to flow the maximum atmosphere possible through the Scream and Eagle Twin Cam 110B. Add in the hydraulically actuated assist and slip clutch for controlling the power delivery, and you've got the prescription for an arm straightening ride. The suspension with its 43mm inverted fork rigidly mounted within a beefy 3-bolt triple clamp, mounts to a 19 inches front wheel for street curd and stability. The meaty 240mm rear tire handles pavement abuse duties. Since things that go fast must also stop, dual 300mm discs with floating rotors have their calipers for pistons squeeze controlled by a reduced reach front brake lever. ABS provides additional safety. The 2016 Harley-Davidson Pro Street Breakout carries a $25,699 MSRP.